Now let me start off by telling you why it is important to engage women in agriculture. And to explain my point, I would like to quote President Barack Obama. In a recent speech, he said that if we have to fight hunger and poverty, we need to have all hands on the deck. Now, by not engaging women and girls in agriculture and not empowering them, we are losing half of the potential, a human potential especially. And also, we are working with one hand tied behind our back. So it's very important, therefore, to engage women and girls in agriculture and empower them so that we will be, we will be able to understand their needs, their aspirations, the constraints and the opportunities they have. And by bringing them into the mainstream of agriculture, we will be able to realize our goal, a goal of a better world for, a, for all, a goal of having a world free of hunger and poverty by including them in the development and research process. Now, women in rural areas and even in urban areas in most societies are constrained as they do not have access to many of the resources, including financial resources, new knowledge, innovation, as well as assets. This lack of access to assets and resources does, helps, does not help them to work fully to their potential. Also, by not having access to new knowledge or information, women do not know what is happening in the external environment and they are not prepared to face the challenges of the new generation or the new society. And thus, they are not able to, re to respond to the new challenges or to situations when they arise. Instead, they tend to react to the situations or challenges. The second constraint that I would like to talk about is time. Time demands are very high on rural women, especially those who are engaged in agriculture, either on their own farms or as farm laborers. Women perform a majority or multiple roles and tasks, and those include household tasks like cooking food, fetching water and fuel with, but also participating in the care economy of the household. Now with male mi out migration, this burden on that time has increased because now they also have to manage their farms. Agriculture research and development effort should be focused such that one, women have better access to and control over resources and assets so that they are able to make decisions, more informed decisions and decisions which will have a positive impact on their households, especially the children and the elderly. Second, these resources and this research and development should be such that if women have more time for themselves and to take care of children, that would mean better nourished families, healthy communities, as well as women would be able to use the leisure time that they have to participate in community-driven activities or community-driven development, which would mean developing the villages and the communities as a whole and making them more resilient.